Hey, welcome to the series of everything you need to know about Python in simplest possible way. In the series of pattern printing, so far we have seen so many patterns. In this video, we will see how we can print this particular pattern. So if you could carefully observe this pattern, in middle we have the highest number which is 5 in this case and going to the right side, the values are keep reducing in this format and going till the value 1 here. So in the left side also the values are keep reducing and going till the value 1. So right side and left side having symmetric shape, symmetric values, symmetric pattern. So let us go ahead and see how we can actually print this particular pattern. So in order to print this particular pattern, we can observe we have 5 rows, right? So for that reason, I will take a variable rows and I will assign the value 5. So after that, if you could able to observe clearly, we can have, we have these spaces, right? So, apart from these numbers, we have spaces. First, we need to print spaces. Then only we need to print these particular numbers so that we can able to get the exact pattern. So, in order to keep track of these spaces, in order to print these spaces, I will use a variable spaces and I will assign how many number of spaces that we are ha having initial this particular row. So, we have one space. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8 spaces, but I cannot directly assign the value 8 because if we change the value 5 to some other number, the pattern will be changed and the number of spaces will be changed. So by observing this number of rows, by observing this number of spaces, we can come to a conclusion that 2 into multiplied with rows minus 2. So by using this logic, we can able to get the exact spaces that is having in the first row. So 2 into rows which gives the value 10, 10 minus 2 which gives the value 8. So if we change the value 5 to some other number, this particular pattern, this particular logic works fine to generate row spaces for the first row. So let us go ahead and see how we can generate this particular pattern. So as we can observe, we have 5 rows to generate all of these rows. I will use a for loop for i in range. Now I will be generating the range of values. So the question is, what are the range of values that we are going to generate in here? So if we could able to observe this pattern in this diagonal format, we have the values 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And in this right diagonal also, we have the values 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So these are symmetric, right? So if we could able to generate these values which are 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So by using them, we can able to generate all of these values. So first we will generate those 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 diagonal values. So for that, I will use rows as starting because we have 5, right? So in the rows variable, we have 5. So from starting 5, we need to go till the value 1. So for that reason, I am mentioning 0 by the functionality of range we will stop at the value 1. So after that, we are reducing this value by 1 so that we can able to reduce and get this particular 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 with a decreasing order. So after that, inside this particular for loop, we will just print i to know what values we are having. So if I print, we can able to see we have got the exact values that what we have expected, which are 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So first we have this symmetric shape right so in left side and right side so what we will be doing is that first we will print this particular left side pattern so later we will print this particular right side pattern so by combining them we can able to get the whole pattern so if you can observe this particular left side we are having this particular i value starting and going till the value 5 the first row we have only 5 don't worry about that the second row we have this value for this i value 4 and starting with 4 going till the value 5. So in the third row, we are starting with 3 going till 5, which is the exact value that we are having in i, which is 3, starting with 3 going till 5. So in i, in fourth row, we have 2. So starting with 2, which is i, going till the value 5. So like this, in every single row, this pattern is repeating, which is starting with i going till the value of 5. So when we have this kind of repeated statements, we use loops, right? So that is what I will be doing here. Instead of this for loop, I will use one more loop for j in range. 
Now we will be generating the range of values. As we have discussed, the range of values should be starting with i and going till the value 5. So for that reason, I will start with i go till the value rows. So for that reason, I am mentioning rows plus 1, which will be stopped at the value rows, which is 5. So inside this, instead of printing this particular i, I will print the value j here. So now if I execute this, so we can able to see the result as 5, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So these are the exact values that we have in this left side. So we have got the values. So the only thing we need to do now is that we need to arrange those values so that we can able to get the whole pattern. So for that, I am mentioning end with a single space because by default, this print having this end parameter as a new line character because of that reason we will getting everything in a new line by mentioning this end as single space we can get everything in a single line so we have got everything in a single line but that is not what we wanted we need to get new lines as and when we have reached till the value 5 so for that reason after completion of this inner for loop this inner for loop will be executed till the value i till the value j reaches to the value 5 so after it reaches to the value 5, I am just picking nothing. So by mentioning this, the, by default, this end is having a new line character that is what will be generated. So if I execute this, we can able to get this kind of a pattern. But this is not what we wanted. We need spaces, right? So where we need spaces? Before we actually get these numbers. So for that reason, as and when I enter into this outer for loop, I will print spaces. So for that reason, I am mentioning a single space and I am multiplying with the spaces with the spaces variable so that we can able to get the spaces that what we are tracking here. So end I will mention with nothing because by default end is having new line character. We don't want anything at all. We don't we only want spaces. For that reason, I am mentioning end with nothing. So after that, in every single new row, the spaces are increasing by two spaces. So for that reason, we need to modify these spaces. So for that, I am modifying spaces with two as and when we have completed this inner for loop. So now if I execute this, we can able to get this kind of a pattern because the spaces are keeps increasing, but we need to decrease, right? So my bad, I will put a minus here. So now if I execute this, we can able to get the exact pattern that is what we have expected here, right? So we have got the left side pattern. Now we need to generate the left right side pattern. Before doing that, so far if you have got understood this logic, if you have found this video interesting, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. So let us go ahead and see how we can generate this particular right pattern. So to generate this particular right pattern, we will follow the similar procedure what we have followed to generate this particular left pattern. So which is we in every single row, we have got this particular values 4, 4, 3, 4, 3, 2, 4, 3, 2, 1. So every single row starting with 4, right? Apart from that, we have generated the i values, which is this diagonal values, right? By using this i in this diagonal, we have built all these values. In this way also, we have got 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 in i. So by using this i, we will generate this. So in every single row starting with 4, going till the value i, starting with 4, going till the value i, starting with 4, going till the value i. So as we have these many repeated statements, we use loops, right? So for that reason, I will use for a in range. So now we will be generating those range of values, which are starting with 4. For that reason, I am mentioning rows minus 1, which is the value 4, and going till the value 0, which will stop it at the value 1. So after that, this value will be keep reducing, right? So that is what happening here. The values needs to be reduced till it reaches to value one. So after that, what I will be doing is that one second. So we need to reach to the value i, right? So that is what we need to mention here, which is i minus one. So now we print the value k here. So we can see the result as four in the first row, which is here. 4, 3, which is in the second row, which is 4, 3, and 4, 3, 2, which is in the third row here, and 4, 3, 2, 1, which is in the final row, which is in here. So now we have got the all values. 
the only thing we need to do is that we need to arrange those values so that we can able to get the whole pattern so in order to arrange them i will use an end as we have used in above to get everything in a single line so after we have got everything in a single line we need to arrange these values in a way that after this values reaches to the value i it need to get a new line for that reason i am mentioning a new line by using this print so if i execute this we don't get the exact pattern but let's see what we can get so we can observe we are getting this kind of a pattern so the problem here is that we are generating new line in here and we are also generating new line here that is what happening after completion of this loop till this particular value we are generating a new line that is making this particular right side going to the new line so we don't want that so for that reason we need to remove this particular new line so that we can able to combine this particular pattern right side of this particular above pattern so now if i remove the, this and if i execute this we can able to get the exact pattern that is what we are expecting right so i hope so far you can able to understand this logic to generate this particular pattern if that is true hit the like button and now what we will be doing is that we will replace this particular value with integer and we will take the dynamical input from the user so for that reason i am asking user to enter rows so now if i execute this it was asking me to enter rows let's say if i give the value 3 so in middle we have got the value 3 going to the right side we have got 1 and going to the left side we have got 1 so if i execute this with one more number let's say i am giving 9 here so in middle we have got the h number which is 9 going to the right side we have got 1 and going to the left side we have got 1 so by using this logic we can generate this kind of a pattern by any number given by the user so in middle if you found any difficulty while understanding this logic i sincerely suggest you to watch the video carefully once again so that you can able to understand the logic clearly so in the next video we will see how we can actually print this particular pattern here so to stay updated subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications to all so that whenever i upload any video you will get the notification so thank you for watching this video see you in the next one